Hello everyone and welcome to today's special video with one of honestly my favorite content creators on YouTube which is Slongers. He is the one and only impressionist of the one Chisgo and Nefisto which brought tears to my eyes and hopefully to your guys eyes too. So with all that said let's go into today's video and interview the comedic genius himself. Hello everyone, welcome, smash a like, comment and subscribe for more daily Call of Dragons videos with me, Mr. Sneaky, an official Call of Dragons content creator trying to make you laugh and give you news every single day. But yes, we're here, we've got Sluggers, the one and only, I love this guy, I know you guys are falling in love with him too, hopefully. Sluggers, introduce yourself to those people that may not actually know who you are at the moment. Yeah, super cool. Thanks for inviting me on the channel, first of all. Uh, Sneaky's been helping me out a lot lately, so thank you. Uh, yeah, I'm Slongers. My info is right there. Server 31, uh, DX. We've been fighting Nefisto and BXS all season. Been making some really good content about that. Uh, having a lot of fun with it, really. Um, I just kind of got started on YouTube not too long ago. Um, my first video was at the very end of season one. I did a little chest opening video, and then yesterday I just did the one same kind of deal for season one plus. So I've been doing YouTube content for exactly one season of Call of Dragons. That's sick, man. So basically you've only been playing since global, right? Since you're in server yep. 31. So because a lot of players, you know, they do get that mixed up with even myself they think i'm on the global servers even though i'm on the beta mm -hmm. so it's cool right so you're on server 31 um yeah. is bxs's server 33 if i remember if I, is that correct yeah that's correct that's sweet so at least everyone knows exactly who we are now um yeah. let's go into the next question which i think everyone is always been waiting for so as you know the comedy impression videos. What honestly gave you the idea to do them? Because uh, honestly, they're the masterpiece. I'm just saying, watching Chisco and the Godfather I, Nefisto was I have, beautiful. I have no idea. Um, I was just trying to think of something nobody was doing, and at the same time, what nobody can do. So it's like, I want to get into the YouTube game. I don't want to start out by making the same videos that everybody's making because they're not going to watch that because they have these bigger name people. They're going to go to them first. So first I need to make a name for myself. What can I do that hasn't been done? And even better, somebody like Chisgle can't do. Well, Chisgle can't do an impression of himself. <laughs> so that was kind of how that that's kind of how the, the idea started. I was like, okay, well, nobody's doing impressions. I'm always doing stuff like this. And I'm always yeah, you know, I sound crazy, but talking to myself with little yeah, things yeah. or making fun of pretty much everything I see going on around me. And it kind of just built from there. And then I, I was thinking about raids and and then I was kind of watching Chisgle and things he does all the time. And I don't know, <laughs> I just kind of started developing very naturally over, I would say, a couple weeks time. And I was just thinking of, you know, putting this script together. And by the time I sat down to make it. Um, I had gone over it in my head, you know, for two weeks long. I had everything written out into my brain what I wanted to do. So uh, that's kind of how it it happened. Uh, funny story was my my brother in law was actually supposed to do the main character, the the Slongers character. All right. I wanted him to be that guy, and then I was just going to do the impressions. Oh. So he came over to do it, and we started filming him doing it for a couple hours just trying to do like the intro the first 30 seconds <laughs> and then we realized this just this it ain't just working. won't cut in it it's just not not the it same it wasn't working yeah no, no it's good yeah. though at least do you know what <laughs> i actually like that the fact that you you got family involved you know what because like yeah. a lot of people don't even think of that like you know like maybe just ask your brother or ask your sister or someone like do you, do you fancy just helping me try to make something yeah. uh, it, it, it sounds ridiculous on paper but i promise it's it's gonna be it's gonna be worth it like because exactly. it was honestly those videos were so good and i'm not gonna lie i i, I just can't wait for more because for me, yeah. I just like the, the whole premise of it. Almost like raid night with whoever, you know, like mm -hmm. you, there's you and you're just trying to, you know, do your job. And then obviously, you know, Mr. Jason, little dolphin jumps in occasionally. But then you've got, 
you know, you could do like an Iron Man, like you did Batman recently as a yeah. an impression. So you could do all these different people who could be doing Raid Night in Call of Dragons. Because I think it's so relatable, right? Because everyone goes to a raid and there's always either someone who walks that through guy. yeah there's always that guy, that guy. <laughs> there's but, always uh... that guy <laughs> so i love the whole concept too so um what what is your actual thoughts though on call of dragons let's just like let's do a little segue and keep people wondering you know because obviously we are content creators and hopefully mm -hmm. obviously enjoy call of dragons but what's your actual yeah. thoughts on it what do you enjoy what potentially you know could be an improvement that you would love to see in the future oh for sure um well my gaming background is mmos so oh. i always played mmos i played final fantasy 11 like Ooh. 20 20 years ago um world of warcraft of course i did guild wars i did uh the new final fantasy i've played all the expansions um so that's my background is MMOs. And then I played Rock for a few months. And then I quit playing because I just like it consumed my brain at the time. And I uh, <laughs> didn't have time for it. Yeah. And got out of Rock and hadn't played it since. And then I stepped into Call of Dragons. So from that MMO background, what drew me to Call of Dragons originally was the behemoths. When I heard, ah, oh, behemoth fights, MMO style learn these bosses awesome that's what i want to do and i liked rock anyway so that kind of style i thought okay cool if you can combine those two things that could be a really cool game so i got into it really for the pve content originally um which kind of changed over time because if you're comparing the bosses or behemoths in call of dragons <laughs> To raid bosses yeah, from old rag. school World of Warcraft, <laughs> Final Fantasy XI, where bosses took four hours, it's like, yeah. So, like, people struggling on Hydra, I just, I just yeah. don't get it. Just yeah. don't stand in the stuff, you know? It's like basic rules, so <laughs> I that's do... a kind of... Yeah, so, I was gonna say I do get what you say because I'm the same. I have come from an MMO background. I and that's one of the reasons I love the game. I, I love the fact that raiding is obviously it's a fun fun mechanic in the game. Everyone gets mm -hmm. involved, but it's a social mechanic, and I think social and being like a community mm -hmm. and trying to force people to play with each other is actually a really good thing. Because <laughs> as you guys know, and as you know, Saga is like wow, classic and wow. That's what mm -hmm. made that game so famous right the the law the way the raids worked and forced players to basically create the community they needed otherwise guess what you weren't raiding friday night you know yeah, <laughs> so exactly. it was really cool yes maybe they're not as difficult right but it is a mobile game at the end yeah. of the day but it's it's still funny though that it, maybe it's not difficult for you and me and other maybe veteran players but even to a new player as you said there's some people just can't kill the hydra or they can't yeah. deal with the thunder rock or you know the necro giant is legit the most mm. wow raid-esque like with all the different abilities you don't know like, that's the it, most fun i've had so far yeah like game. love it like so hopefully yeah. in the future they maybe do more necro giant style ones where it's like a behemoth exactly. has like eight abilities and it just goes you know what guys you need to know these eight abilities because i'm gonna just pick one out of the bag and <laughs> good luck to you <laughs> you know so, exactly uh, what like would you the, improve uh improvement uh yeah like what you just touched on uh more behemoths more complex fighting um also with the new behemoths coming out i've already speculated also in my videos that yeah i really hope that they don't just do like the frost dragon and it's exactly the same as yeah. the regular dragon he just blows frost instead of flames yeah. so like please let's let's get out of the box uh lilith and let's make some good boss fights uh, i also hope that they i mean the game is pay to win it's always going to be pay to win but give a little credit for people that that really grind and really play i see a perfect opportunity with the war pets coming out make it a grind mmo players they grind this stuff so make me have to find that you know war pet 10 15 100 times and kill it and then you see that when i get that pet it's because i put in the work for it 
So there's yeah. like there's an opportunity that they could reward loyal players, not just money. Of course, the money is always going to pay off in PvP. Everyone gets that. But just let's not shut out the mid spenders, the low spenders, even the free to plays. Let's keep growing this game, this community. That would be the biggest and i think that's the same thing everyone's kind of saying right now um even wales that i talked to recently said the same thing let's not make it a wales only game there needs to be some kind of appeal for yeah. other people to join the game yeah i totally agree and, and the thing is it's like some people might be listening in and be like what this game's a pay to win it's like look every game <laughs> with in mobile genre anyway had mm -hmm. some sort of pay scheme. And that pay scheme yeah. always, always, yes, will be a pay to progress scheme. If you spend, mm -hmm. you will progress quicker. It's just, unfortunately, the way mm -hmm. these games can develop, you know? Mm -hmm. uh, but the one thing what Will still say is like, it is quite free to play friendly, right? It's not mm -hmm. as friendly um, as other games, but it's friendlier than Rock, for example, in my eyes, right? Yeah. Um, and as you said, it'd be really good to touch on ways for the general player to be rewarded for playing the game a long time. Like you say, I, and I'm, I believe grinding is a really good thing, right? I, I'm mm -hmm. the same. Um, some people might hate it. I know in the today's age, everyone wants like instant gratification, like and have yeah. such a short attention span. But I'm just saying, guys, if you've played like Diablo or you know, wow again, and you've been grinding that same dungeon literally a hundred, two, three, four hundred times sometimes, guys, and mm. you finally get like the mount drop, or you finally get your best in slot gear, yeah. you yeah. don't understand how much that feels More. good. Like yeah. the reward. How much better. Yeah, because like you have put that time in and you've put the work and effort in and someone else might have it, but you know they've done the same, right? And I, mm -hmm. and I like that aspect. Maybe they might be able to bring, hopefully, maybe some sort of achievements in, right? Because that's the one system they haven't done yet. They haven't yeah. added the achievement system in. Yeah. Maybe if it says, you know, capture 500 war pet in an achievement mm -hmm. you unlocked a very mm -hmm. specific talent you know and it was yeah. one at 100 200 300 you know every you unlock another war pet yeah you exactly know, make, make some of them that you have to pay for and some you have to grind for so it's like yeah i can get these because i grinded yeah you bought these but since i play more i have these like make it you know something that, yeah, we, that uh, everybody can get definitely you know? there needs to be some sort of trade-off right that, that's the best mm. way of putting it. It has to be a trade-off, right? If, if I'm going to mm. spend my money and get this guy really quick, sure. But if this person can spend, I don't know, let's say a month grinding properly and they get it maxed, guess what? They should be able to match the guy who spent. They should just be able to, right? Because they've spent yeah. their almost time equivalent of money, right? And that is the one thing that players uh, or the mm -hmm. devs might not even consider as a, a way of making things equal. So yeah. before we make things go a bit too crazy and go uh, for a super long video, what <laughs> would be any tips to the players? You know, maybe if you want to go and, I don't know, showcase some something that you believe is a really good tip, maybe heroes, it could be tech, it could be anything you, you believe, but a really oh, good man. tip for the players who's watching this, like I say, it could be anything. Oh man, I could. We could shoot a whole other video. Um, <laughs> <laughs> a couple of things that I always say, especially for people starting the game, uh, new players, um, decide what your budget is. So you download the game. Maybe even you play the game for a couple of days, see if you like it. If you decide, yeah, I like this game and I want to invest this much money into it, the best thing you can do is probably at that point start a new character, and whatever that money you were going to invest into that game that you want to spend. Put it in in the first week because you're going to get such a big boost by getting ahead early and getting in a good alliance and therefore getting more rewards. You're going to advance your character so much faster if you just spend whatever that budget is. It doesn't matter. Everybody has their own their own budget. Five dollars, one hundred dollars. Some people spend thousands. Whatever it is, invest it early because it's going to put you way ahead. That's what I did. I got way out in front, I got in the best alliance, and I've hung with them, and then 
the money that you have to spend to keep up is so much less, if at all, because you got out ahead. So that's what I would say to new players. And then for everybody else that's not a whale, um, no matter how much everyone comp complains about that ecotech, you need ecotech. <laughs> if you're not whaling in this game, you need ecotech. This is how you get more resources. This is how you upgrade faster. This is how you do research faster. Uh, resources. I also especially love this stuff here. Forestry or you know gold processing whichever one it is one two and three because this is just passive income you log yeah. in you click the thing you click the mine and you get the resources this takes no time if these are maxed out you're getting more passive income so if you're not whaling please do your ecotech <laughs> even though the whales oh man i gotta do my ecotech to get my t5 that's okay it's because they have billions of resources you don't <laughs> You need resources, make it easier on yourself, do the ecotech, and then maybe just do like one march, do some of their tech, you know? Don't, of course, don't stay at tier one in your uh, military. I'm not saying ignore it, but ecotech matters. Yeah. So that would be my two points. Your budget, what are you going to spend? Invest it early, and then make sure you're getting your resources. You're going to need them. <laughs> <laughs> definitely, definitely. I love I love both points because, again, and we've and a lot of people have said this, and, and I don't think players understand the benefit of alliances, honestly, and, like, the benefit of being in the number one, number two, and sometimes even the number three mm -hmm. alliance, literally. Like, top three alliances, the activity from just even the common chests alone, right? Yeah. It's just nuts. And the amount of freebies you're getting does compensate you to actually keep up and growing, right? As long as you're the active player, if you're not spending, it will work out to you. And as Jason... Massively. Uh, Jason, as long as I said... Sorry, Jason. Where, oh, God. Where's Jason G? <laughs> where's He's the, right here. <laughs> oh, God. No. There he no. is. As, as, Jason. as Jason will probably say and probably told <laughs> sloggers, you know, if you're going to spend, like, go, if you're going to do your budget, do it in the first week. It's a really good one yeah. because you've got, like, the Road to Glory event rolling as well. But it's got a lot of mm -hmm. events that actually matter about powering up. And you'll be able mm -hmm. to just instantly power up, jump into the Alliance, which covers both points, which is really, really nice. And then the Ecotech. Honestly, a lot of people hate ecotech, but it's just one of them. You have to do it. You just have to. Like, you got you've got it. to think, without ecotech, as he says, you're not growing as fast. Like, you just simply not. Because the amount of passiveness, you know, you could send out all your farmers to work, you know, then, you know, you might have emptied your CP already. Guess what? You're going to go to work yourself, do a hard shift. It's dinner time. You log into mm -hmm. the game. Boom. You're all boom, good. TP's up. Yeah, yeah, you could just reclaim all those resources, all passively, go back to yeah. work, carry on with a hard day's shift, and when you get home, guess what? It's COD time, and you're going to go and yeah. blast away, right? So yeah. I love it. I love it. I love both of those points, honestly. I always thought, um, if you think about it, Ecotech helps you in your military tech, because you'll have the resources to do it, but your military tech is not going to help you with your Ecotech. Yeah. So you need both to get to T5, and one helps you, and one doesn't. Yeah. So focus on your ecotech, get it up. Yeah, definitely. Because like, and, and I'll just touch on when it comes to military tech. Once you've got your T four unit, guys, honestly, like a lot of players are good to go. Like you, you're just mm -hmm. honestly f firing on good cylinders, and all you're doing generally with your military tech is honestly pick a troop type. So if you're playing mages, you play a mage. If you're playing archers, you're playing archers, right? But you pick that mm -hmm. one troop type, and then you might set one of your cues up. To, to do one of their higher techs towards the T5 tree, but then you're going to be doing the eco tree. You have to keep doing this eco tree until the point where you can't physically do it, because then you know you've got the maximum benefit out of it. So I, I love it. I love today's interview, and I'm glad I've had you on, and I hope you've enjoyed yourself. Is there anything Absolutely. you want to say to everyone where they can check you out? Where can they find you? Anything, last words, basically, to the audience. <laughs> Your last word. It's gone to your head. What do you yeah. think? Yeah, John, tell him, him. Tell him. Subscribe <laughs> to my channel, man. Just subscribe to the channel. <laughs> uh, 
I'm on YouTube. I just recently set up TikTok and all that stuff. I'm not a huge social media person, so I'm having to learn this stuff because it kind of goes together with doing YouTube. But mainly, everything's on the YouTube right now, and I'm slowly trying to build up those other avenues. So on YouTube, at Slongers. Um, yeah, you can go there for more of those videos we were talking about, more comedies, and also just staying up to date. So that's where you can find me. Thank you so much for having me on, Sneaky, and all the help you've been uh, giving me behind the scenes lately. It's all right, dude. It's, it's honestly, it's a pleasure. I'm always here, and, and guys, everyone knows. Well, content creators, though, you know, I'm always here to help. Um, I'm learning myself, as you, as you guys know, um, but I'm always here trying to work with the community. So, honestly, it's been a pleasure having you on. Can't wait to see your next impression of videos when you start getting them out again. Um, I love the Batman one, so it was amazing. <laughs> so, thank you for watching, guys. Hit the smash the button, or, or smash the button, hit the button. It's the same thing, right? <laughs> smash the button. Uh, say smash. <laughs> just smash it. Just smash the sub button. <laughs> smash the like button. You guys know you want to support the channel We're here every day, giving you Call of Dragons content. And it's either news, guides, fun stuff like this, reaction videos, you name it, we've got it. That's what the channel is all about. So I hope you've enjoyed it. Stay safe, stay sneaky, and until the next video, peace out.